many different mounts for eliminating vibration on motorcycles, but most of them don't work. There are mounts that are made to eliminate vibrations on quadcopters, but those don't typically work on a motorcycle. So what I came up with is a uh, material using a material called sorbothane. And I have, what I have done here is mounted, directly mounted my camera. Now this happens to be a, a Sony action camera, but I could put one of my GoPro equivalents, my Get 2s on there. And uh, what I've done here is put a material in here, which I'll show in a minute, called sorbothane. And the sorbothane, you know, it, it seems like it bounces, but it doesn't when it's going down the road, as you see in the video. The sorbothane is like your hand. It, it, it holds, it gets a damper effect. And what I've done is made sure that there's a bolt, connection bolt, that runs all the way through that's not connected directly to this metal here. And by doing so, I can take and, and go up to speeds of 90 miles an hour and this camera doesn't turn and it doesn't bounce back. Right now it's a little bit loose, but I can tighten this down and what it will do, it will, it will stay right there. And um, what I use is a Dural 30 sorbo thing. If you look at the bill of material on YouTube, you'll see the complete bill of material that I use for this, um, for this mounting arrangement. Okay, here's what I use to to make this uh, vibration absorbing device. I have, for the bottom I have a washer. I drilled it out to one and a half inch plastic or nylon washer and I have another nylon washer inch and a half at the top. I drilled that out with a half inch hole here so that my nylon screw, my nylon bolt can go through here. What I took here was a nylon bolt, glued a, uh, glued a nut on here so I can I have an adjustment here and use this as my camera mount. For the absorption material I use Sorbethane uh, Dural 30 washers one and a half inch and how they simply go is they mount on top of here like this. I took a metal strap that I got for like 50 cents at the store, cut it and once again I put a quarter inch hole here to mount to my ball mount here and then I uh, put a half inch hole so that my I my nut can go through here. I never want this bolt to touch this metal. By doing this, what I do is I simply mount this on top of here, like that. Take these two washers here, or to these two Dural 30s from Sorbethane, mount these on top here like this. Take this nylon washer here with a half inch hole cut, and I simply push this through all the way through, and then I Put a little pressure here and I put my mounting nut here. Now I could make it tighter right now, which is sort of showing it. I just tightened it a couple threads, but I would probably squish this down a little bit more. And then my ball mount here, I bought one of these for $2 off eBay. And I stick this through and adjust it. And I had a mounting bracket with my Get2 camera. And I use a wing nut to, to touch it, uh, to attach it. Now this works uh, for the Sony. Uh, now the cameras I found out, you want a camera that has some um, some type of a, a isolation built into it. This Sony camera here, this happens to be uh, the HDR AS300, but I found out with my FDR, uh, FDR cameras, it with the uh, uh, turning in a steady state, it uh, eliminates the vibration. If I use my Git2 with their um, uh, equivalent to steady state protection, their isolation, we get two cameras, it works the same in a mount. I have a mounting bracket uh, for my get twos that will mount right with a single screw, a quarter inch screw here. So that's how it works and you can see it from the video, it works quite well. Thank you.